Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a heart in Illustrator in five seconds um, for your laser project. So it can look something like this one that I just released here um, recently. And uh, these take about five seconds to make, and then I'm going to show you the different variations of how you can create different variations here. Um, so we'll, let's just jump into it. I'm going to explain along the way, and then I'll show you guys how quickly you can do it after I'm done explaining here. So um, it's really easy. Just click your rectangle tool, hold down your shift key, and then create a perfect square like this. Um, if you messed up and didn't make a perfect square, you can type in your width and height up top here. Um, and just make sure they match and they're a perfect square. Next, choose your uh, selection tool and then rotate and hold shift on your keyboard to make it look like a diamond. Once it's a diamond, then all you need to do is click your pen tool, um, hold down alt before you click. After you click and you have, you have a hold of it here, hold down shift and then drag it up. So just like this and then do the same thing. Hold down alt, click over here, hold shift and then drag it up. And there you go. You've successfully made a heart. So let me do that one more time so you guys can see how quick it is. Um, I won't talk this time and we'll just go through there. There you guys go. So you see how fast that was. It's super fast, super easy, about five seconds or so. Um, now let's go ahead and talk about the different variations. So as you can see here, the center one, um, you would want the outside to be a score. So you change that to a blue line and then the inside be a cut. And that's essentially what I did on this project here is uh, the outside line is a score and then the inside is a cut. So it has that nice cutout effect there. Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to do that really quick. So let's just use this big one as an example here. Um, what you want to do is you want to copy this. So you can either go edit, copy, or you can do control C. And then you're going to edit and then paste in place. And then what you can do, um, I always like to lock this uh, position here. And then you can just kind of shrink this as much as you want to have as much of a border as you want around it. Um, I always like to go right about something like that or maybe a little bit deeper. You can choose what you want to do. And then if you want to unlock it and change like the width, if you don't like the borders being like that, you can. Um, I always like to keep it cohesive though. Um, so there you go. You have that. And then you can change your outside stroke into like a score. You can drop this onto like a project. So let's just say this uh, square or this rectangle is uh, your board. You can shrink this down and drop that right on the project. Now it'll score the outside line and then cut your inside heart out and then you can color in between these with your project just like I did. So that's essentially how you would create something like that project there. Um, and then lastly, let's say you wanted to engrave the heart uh, like this here. Uh, as you can see, there's a color there. You can um, if you want to engrave the inside and leave the outside score, you could technically just do that. You can change it to any color you want that your your uh, Glowforge can pick up. Just make sure it's a different color than your cut or score lines. Um, so we'll just choose black and then we'll set the, the outside to none. And now it is an engrave. And if you don't want the score line on the outside, you can just delete it. And that's how I get this one right here. So that's pretty much it, you guys. It's super easy, super fast. It takes about five seconds to make a heart. I just wanted to get this out for Valentine's Day for anybody who's making projects there and was curious on how I did that. Other than that, uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.